And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening, this is the undercard. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he's coming from Romania. Make some noise for Marius Ursake. Our second undercard fight of the evening at 77 kilos, this one. Romania versus Moldova. Marius Urasaki taking on Artur Brinza. Urasaki, 27 years old from Yash, Romania. And if that sounds familiar, it's because Yash is a very serious kickboxing town. That's where the Scorpions gym is located, which has turned out so many very impressive fighters. Marius Urosaki has his first big chance here to prove what he's made of. Ladies and gentlemen from Romania, Marius Urosaki. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Moldova. Let's welcome to Artur Renza. And here is Autor Brinza of Moldova, undefeated. However, he has only had one fight in his young career. He's from here in Kishino, Moldova, and represents the Berkut Fight Club, trained by Andre Grosu. He says, I'm aiming for victory, and I want the audience and the viewers to be able to enjoy the fight. So he certainly has his eyes on the prize. There you see Andre Grosu in his corner there. Seventy meters, having a personal record of two fights, one win and one loss. He's fighting for Romania. Make some noise for Marius Ursake. And now presenting the red corner, weighing 77 kilogram, height 1.80 meters, having a personal record of one fight and never loss. Ladies and gentlemen, he's fighting for Moldova. Make some noise for Artur Brinza. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Super Fight under 77 kilogram, three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Dumitru Lupusho. Guys, you are fighting fair rules. No clinching, no all. No all buff. I, I want to see clear fight. Understand? Yes. Okay. Stand back. Judge, judge, judge. First round. Fight! There goes the bell, one. and we are underway. Our second undercard fight of the evening. The Romanian in the shorter Thai style trunks, and the Moldovan in the longer black and white. Ooh, some serious shots going in here already. These are two welterweights. Ooh, he caught him with a left hand on the chin as well. Ducks under that shot. Tell you what, these guys from the Scorpion Gym, wow, did you can actually feel that smoke behind those shots there from Brinza. I think that shot that he took on the chin certainly woke him up. If you're watching on FIAFights.tv live, uh, welcome, and we're glad you're with us. This one looks like it may not last the whole three rounds. Of course, very often I say that, and it does, but these two certainly have the ability to put the lights out on somebody, that's for sure. So I was going to say, ooh, he caught him good with another short left hook there. These guys from the Scorpions gym, they're, they have a one-track mind, and that is just to come forward and throw power shots. I saw in the corner of Marius Uraski. Sebastian Chibano, the son of Dracula, not a bad guy to have in your corner. Oh. 
good combo there very quickly. You see how quickly he put the right hand behind the left there. Another hard right hook bounces off the glove, but you can already see some reddening, and he caught him coming in that time. Both guys showing markings on their face already. Jabbing, 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 always moving forward is Marius Uraski. Boy, listen to these two guys laying the leather down here, spinning back fist taken on the gloves. That right hand was taken on the nose. Goes downstairs with a hook, a knee to the same spot. Uraski a little bit out of range that time. Brinza moving around, using the ring, but I'll tell you what, these guys are not afraid to just stand in front of each other and almost dare the other one there as that left hook bounces off the, the temple of Uroski to end round number one. Highlights from round one between these two. That was a very taxing round, I would have to believe, between these two. Watch how he clipped him right there with that left hook coming in perfectly timed shot. A lot of power punches landing there in round one. Round two. Round two action here. Make sure you check out FIA.MD for all of the latest news and updates. They do have an English version of the website as well with uh, a lot of news articles updated in English for the international fans. Wow, spinning back fist clipped him on the side of the skull. Well, I think that uh, Brinza of Moldova certainly fighting fire with fire. Certainly well aware of how the Fighters from the Scorpions Club in Romania generally approach a fight. And that is just forward movement and lots of bombs. Uh, but so far in this matchup, I would say that it's Artur Brinza of Moldova who's been connecting with the more of the power punches. Got caught with the uppercut though. Wow, look at that left hand. Crossed his eyes momentarily right down the middle. Big right hand as well. Well, the welterweight division right now in Moldova is ruled by Konstantin Rusu, who is the current KOK welterweight champion. Boy, I'll tell you what, Rusu has a completely different style than these two fighters, though. He's, a, he's very active, he moves around, he uses the ring. These two guys are just in there to absolutely go to war with each other. So it'd be uh, interesting confrontation should one of these two guys be able to work their way up the ladder and eventually get into position to challenge the champion. Should Rusu even still be the champion once these guys do get into contention? Keep in mind, folks, that these first three fights here on the undercard, all for the FIA rankings. Big swing and a miss right there. That one had very bad intentions on it. You can see these two fighters just starting to slow down just a bit. Oh, 
big right hand down the middle again. I think that the Urusaki of uh, Romania not utilizing enough head movement because he's just getting cracked with those shots down the middle. He needs to keep his head off the center line or it's going to be very dangerous for him. Gets popped with the left on the chin. Here comes Brinza now. Big shots against the ropes. End of round two. Take a look around the arena. You can see some empty seats as the fans still trickling in slowly to the arena. But I guarantee you, once the main card starts, once the World Series starts, this place will be jam-packed full as it always is. I don't think I ever remember being here in Kishino where this place wasn't full. Look at this now, Brinza going right to work here in round two, and it's almost like deja vu all over again here as Urasaki got caught coming in and perhaps also got a slip. Well, that's not a very desirable job, but a necessary one. Overhand right, big kick there. Look at this, Brinza really putting on a show here. I don't think it's enough for him just to win. I think he really wants to have a few more clips for his highlight reel as well. Big swing and a miss that time and Urasaki was able to duck under. Well, Brinza said that uh, he wants to not only win, but he wants to put on a show. Certainly doing that so far. You can't get too absorbed in that, though. That, you're, you know, your first priority has got to be to win. If you see the opening for something flashy, then by all means, go for it. Hard low kick taken that time. You can see the swelling just instantly on the outside of the lead left leg of Urasaki. Right hand lands, runs into a knee again. Being overwhelmed now here in round three. This is almost a completely lopsided round here. Wow! Was he just measuring him with that right hand? Spinning back fist did not find the mark there as they got tangled up near the ropes in that neutral corner and back to work now. Big right hand lands from Brinza. Look at this. Just teeing off now against the ropes. Urasaki has got to get something going here offensively. This is a case here where you cannot... Wait a minute here. Oh, his mouth guard came out can never afford to take your eye off your opponent or turn your back. Even, you know, your opponent may not realize that the mouth shield has come out. And if the referee doesn't say stop, then he's got every right to go for it. Caught him with a left now. In the corner, this is not where Urasaki wants to be. Inside 30 seconds in this third and final round. Here comes Brinza. Man, did he pop him with a right hand. Just rocking and rolling here. Osaki's certainly showing that he's tough. 
crossed his eyes with that shot. He may be seeing two or three Brinzas right now. This one goes to the judges. Let's take another look at round three. That was just a whooping. That was just an old fashioned beat down there from Artur Brinza of Moldova. Look at that, that's just a work of art there, that kick. So for the first time tonight, this one reaches the end of round number three. Still one more undercard bout left to go. Ring announcer Mike Diamonds is still nowhere in sight here as we still patiently await the result of this one. How do you folks have it scored at home? Urasaki and Brinza, two very tough guys. Obviously two very powerful fighters and two very tough guys. I'll tell you what, they have taken a number of very telling shots throughout the matchup. You can see there at ringside, Pavel Zorovlev and Doran Damir Zorovlev. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by unanimous decision for the red corner from Moldova. Make some noise for Artur Brunzel.